Well, oh, oh, hi guys. Do you know what's happening? Oh no, things are falling in my house. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I think it stopped. Okay, so guys, do you know what will happen to me? Well, I think it was an earthquake. So, this reminds me of today's topic, which is earthquakes and why earthquakes take place. So, let's start learning. Earthquakes are a jigsaw puzzle. Something like this. Yes, they are not made out of one single piece of earth, but approximately 20 pieces of land. And these places constantly move. Just like that. But you don't feel them moving because they move quite slowly. These plates are called tectonic plates. And when the earthquake is felt over the earth's crust, it's called the fault or the fault plane. So now let's zoom in and see how the earthquake is formed. So whenever the plates bump, press or slide past each other, an earthquake is caused. Where the earthquake forms under the earth's crust is called the hypocenter. And where the earthquake is felt over the earth's crust is called the epicenter. So when the plates slip, the energy inside the earth's crust is called the hypocenter. And when it travels over the earth's crust is called the epicenter. There are three types of earthquakes. The first one is called the conversion boundary. In this type of a quake, one plate is forced to slip over another one. This type of an earthquake is the cause of many hills and mountains. The second one is called the diversion boundary. In this one, the plates slip past each other, forming a lift zone or an empty space. This gives place to new ocean flows. The third and the last one is called the strike slip. This is the most common type of an earthquake. I'm sure you've heard about them. In this type of quake, the plates slip past each other. As I told you, this is called strike slip. So now, let us find out how to measure earthquakes. The measurement scale to measure earthquake is called the Richter scale. In this scale, numbers are given from 1 till 10. If an earthquake is measured of 1, means it was a very slow one. Most of the time, we feel these earthquakes. And, but, the one which goes all the way up to 9, 8 or 10 are the most dangerous types of earthquakes. In these types of earthquakes, the buildings fall, everything gets damaged. As I told you, these are the most destructive types of earthquakes. And when we have an earthquake, a big one, then you can lose your property, your family, your house, everything can be lost of yours. And more impacts of earthquake are this, this, this and this. As you can see, earthquakes are one of the most destructive force of nature. So, if in case an earthquake comes to your place, here are a few facts of how can you survive an earthquake. Number one, hide inside the table. As tables are of wood, they are heavy, so if anything falls off on them, you'll not get hurt. So the better idea is to go under a table or under a wooden chair. Second, just crawl up to a nice little corner at your house and stick to it until the quake is over. Third, go to a, a plain field, like maybe a plain garden or the swings area. Just make sure you're at a place where there are no buildings to let fall on you. So, this was my video about earthquakes. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.